hard times when people have not been free, they have been threatened, and the general is sometimes jailed. But uh, at the moment, I would say they are free. Uh, look at the statistics. Uh, no one is in, in jail or in remand because they wrote a certain uh, aspect of the news. And then um, uh, there, there were times in the past where even in the media, some, some radio stations have been threatened for closure. Uh, some almost bent down. But uh, today, you wouldn't, I, I don't hear anyone uh, saying that they have been threatened or a journalist has been jailed or beaten up or also a media house facing closure because they expressed certain views. So I would say we, have, we are included and also we are inclusive, but also uh, people are free to express their views. Okay, thank you very much. Um, what are some of the challenges do you think are hindering media freedom in Zambia? The first challenge would be the economic challenge. Uh, we don't have enough money to um, to open up these stations and sustain them. Uh, when you look at the fees, there are huge amounts of money that require a radio station to operate freely. Uh, but uh, we, with the economic challenge comes the bribing of the journalists, but also the radio stations. The government may want to come in and uh, pump money in these stations, or business people that have money, to pump money into the uh, operations of the media, but also the journalists, how free would they be, uh, since most of them are that work in these private, uh, privately owned radio stations are not uh, well paid. So that would be a challenge, even if I was, were a, a journalist working in such a situation, uh, how much would I cover? Or suppose I'm digging news, or I'm trying to un unearth uh, a, a situation of, a, of corruption, and then uh, the person that I'm trying to uh, get information about has money and comes forward uh, offering me large, huge sums of money, uh, I, would be, uh, I would be facing that uh, ethical challenge. Do I accept the bribe or do I uh, work independently but then uh, have no food on the table? The other challenge is the social challenge. We are a conservative society but also we are a Christian nation. So you find that certain aspects may not be covered. Uh, here I'm looking at issues like uh, dealing with the gay and the lesbians, uh, those issues you won't hear them much from the uh, media houses that are owned by the churches because they, they go against the teaching or doctrine of the church. But also our society is conservative about those issues. How much uh, are they covered? Uh, not very much. And uh, yeah, religious nation, uh, we, are only, we have a certain orientation. So um, uh, those would be the challenges that the media faces. The, the Cyber Security Act, the way I understand it, uh, the enactment of the Act in 2021, the aim of the government is to protect the citizens, especially the vulnerable ones, the children, from cyberbullying. And um, uh, that is online bullying. Although, again, it relies on the borderline. Uh, some, especially journalists, look at it as it, uh, it probably is there to pin them down. The journalists and bloggers see it as a tool uh, to muzzle online press so that uh, they are more controlled and the government has a grip on them. But um, as I understand it, I've seen a lot of posts where someone just posts something, but. Uh, one thing is that the media doesn't forget. Uh, that is wrong, but we need to have a limit. Every freedom has a limit. And it is, that's what the government is trying to aim at, and that's what society needs, where you don't violate other people's rights uh, in the guise of uh, enjoying your human rights. Uh, so I see it as a good enactment.
but uh, the practical part of it, how it is exercised, that is what we are, we need to watch. And that's All right. Thank you very much. Um, my second last question actually is, um, how about the introduction of taxation on online political content? How is it going to affect communities, individuals and interest groups from enjoying their digital rights? It's a, it's a, a, a question that I haven't really looked at. Um, how will they be built? But again, it, um, I, I, I see it as the, it is going to remove some of the freedom for some for people to express themselves. Because if I can only express myself when I have money,